Hi guys. Happy Friday. It is December the 13th. It's five o'clock. Just leaving work. I was gonna try to stay till six, but I'm tired and I'm gonna work tomorrow um, for a few hours, I guess. So I decided to leave. Um, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I just wanna climb in my bed, which is what I did yesterday. Um, I have not finished my tree, so that's on my agenda. And then um, I also have to go to the at-home store at some point tonight to check for that second mirror for my client. Um, I checked last week and it wasn't in, so I'm gonna check this week and we'll see if they have it again, I don't know. Um, and then that's all that's on the agenda tonight. I, obviously I'll have to get something to eat um, and then go to sleep. And tomorrow I'm going to work for part of the day. I have to go to the bank too, actually. And then I'll probably see my, um, my nieces and my nephew for a little bit. Sunday, or maybe I might see them on Sunday, I don't know. Um, Sunday I have some waxes um, planned. I have a uh, bikini wax, and then I added on um, an underarm wax this time for the first time, so we'll see how that experience is. Um, I am so tired, y'all. Oh my goodness, I'm just exhausted. Um, so yeah, that's all I've been doing. I've just been coming home like I did clean out my basement it looks really really good so I'll show you guys that um, we hung the curtains at the sliding glass door and also at the window down there so that looks good um, I have to get a heater for that room because since my house was originally built in the 80s it's like the heat and air proportion to all three levels is, is way off like the middle level is cool the top level is either usually really hot up there but the bottom level is always freezing um unless it's the summertime so i'm gonna get a, a heater i got one yesterday from um target but it was too small so i have to get another one and then i need to do like the gallery walls behind with photos of my family behind both of the couches i also need to get a tv mount at some point this weekend um, because i want to mount the tv over the fireplace right now it's just sitting on the floor um, I did cut my cable off this week. I have to return my cable boxes at some point. And I don't know what else I need to do. But that is what's going on. Oh, you guys. Look how y'all been up to. I'm going to try to give you guys a vlog. And I have to do a voiceover too for that makeup makeup routine that I did um but yeah I paid it home for a little bit before I have to go to the at home store just maybe to like catch a breather or something cause I'm y'all I'm tired what have you guys been up to I'm getting excited about my family trip in January um I ordered my dress online I have to order my earrings probably tonight or tomorrow um my mom's excited she got she has another fitting coming up like next week I think I don't know sometime next week um, but yeah or her final fitting or something I don't know um, but she has everything she needs um, her and my father both got new rings okay they're they think they balling <laughs> but the rings are really really pretty they got beautiful rings um, and what else I don't know as far as Christmas guys Christmas has snuck up on me so when I was cleaning out my basement I brought all of the Christmas stuff not all of it but most of it what I what, when I shopped throughout the year I was just throwing the stuff the bags in the basement room and also in my coat closet because that's just where I keep the stuff out of sight out of mind but when I was cleaning out my basement this week I started bringing all of the bags of Christmas stuff upstairs so that I could wrap it and put it under the tree that's when I realized how much stuff I had and I haven't even emptied the coat closet from that stuff. There's no way that I'm wrapping all that, okay? I do not have the energy this year. Like I said, I didn't even finish my tree yet. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just exhausted. Like, I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> um, so I've decided that for the kids that I bought multiple things for, like Harper and Mia, I'm just gonna wrap some of the stuff and then just leave some of the stuff unwrapped under the tree 
um, and then my uh, youngest niece and my nephew they are literally babies so they wouldn't even be opening their stuff anyway so I think I may like maybe wrap one thing for them each and then just give them give the parents the rest of the stuff because I only I brought them mainly clothes um, I brought a Brooklyn will be four months clothes and shoes I haven't even bought her any toys and I don't think that I am because she's not gonna play with them um, I brought Ace some clothes and one toy so far so I'm gonna get him like a couple smaller little toys or whatever but I don't even know if I'm wrapping all of those because again he's not gonna open them like he's only six months so yeah for Mimi I'm gonna wrap a good deal of her stuff because she is at the age where she can open it but I don't I'm not wrapping everything and I'm definitely not wrapping all of Harper's stuff anymore because I didn't realize that I had gotten Harper that many toys and I didn't even get her any clothes so yeah um and then I got some of my little cousins some things I still need to get my grandmother something ace a little bit more like small toys and um another one of my little cousins something but yeah I'm tired tired oh. I don't know where all this traffic is coming from on a Friday but it took, still took me an hour to get to work this morning which is absurd for Friday and it's still backed up leaving at 5 o'clock on a Friday like I'm not understanding hopefully next week won't be that bad because hopefully people are starting their holiday travel and they're getting out of town but we'll see um so yeah, I think that's gonna be my plan for Christmas. Like, I'm not even gonna waste my money on buying a lot of gift bags either because the kids are little and I'm not, I'm just not. So I'm just going to wrap a few things and then put the rest of the stuff under the tree, unwrapped. And they can just ooh and awe at the stuff that they see because that's what's gonna happen. But anywho, y'all, I'm gonna continue to drive home, probably get some rest for a little bit and um, then I'll head out to the at-home store. Wish me luck. Hopefully they have this near. Um, yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So I've been meaning to show you some packages that arrived. These two just arrived today. But this is what I ordered on Black Friday. I told you guys I didn't order anything except for a few things from Forever 21. Um, I got a swimsuit. Even though I clearly have enough. Um... And this is really, really nice. It's a monokini style swimsuit. Hold on. Let me take it out of the packaging. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. So this is it. That's the top of it. And I think I paid like not even eight or nine dollars for this um but yeah this part is out and then it's a one shoulder so it's black and white so that's pretty and then these are the bottoms let me take this out for you guys these this is like a metallic gold black and white swimsuit hold on i should have did this before i grabbed the camera i wasn't thinking Anywho, so here are the bottoms to this, and I think I paid two or three dollars for each piece, and then it's just a regular top to that, but it's really, really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has metallic in it, and then I brought some jewelry because I'm trying to get my statement necklace thing up, and they sent me, or I ordered, since they sent me what I ordered, I ordered three necklaces. Um, this is the first one. It's really, really pretty. You guys can see that. So I got that one. And then I got... Hold on, y'all. One more time. So then I got this one right here, which is super pretty. And I didn't pay that much for these either. 
think I paid like $3 for this one. This one is like a rounded one, but it's the hammered style. I may have paid the most for this one. I think this one may have been eight or nine dollars. This one was like seven and that was like two. And then I ordered my niece some stuff. She has another package coming too. So I got her these little booties. Aren't these so cute? This is my baby niece, um, this one. And then I got her these little riding boots. Look how cute these are. Oh my goodness, hold on. Yeah, look at these little riding boots. I wanted them in the cognac color, but they were sold out in a three to six month size, so she couldn't get those. But I got her the black ones. I got her some gold moccasins. I brought me of these when she was little too. And then, what else did they ship with this order? Oh, I got her this outfit. And then she has another order coming. These are from Old Navy, if you guys were wondering. Um, but I didn't know what to get her. Sorry because she's just a baby and she doesn't, you know, play with toys yet. So I just got her clothes and shoes for the winter time. Sorry, I know you guys have been being turned upside down, but I got her this outfit. It's like leggings and a really cute top. And she can wear her gold shoes with it. It has um, deer on it and flowers. And then the top is tan, I mean, cream. And then she can wear the gold shoes with this one or whatever when she has more clothes coming from old navy and then from target i ordered this stuff this is actually from the target dollar spot i have been looking going to three different targets last weekend with my mom looking for these for events um and then i looked online and if you didn't know you can buy certain things from the target dollar spot online they just don't let you buy them in quantities of one obviously because it's not worth shipping so sometimes you have to buy well you usually have to buy it in larger quantities so these because it was four different ones they just sold them as a set of four and they were three dollars each at the dollar spot and they were three dollars they came out to be three dollars each um here because i paid twelve dollars for them so this is them it's part of the bar line which i've gotten a lot of stuff so let me show you guys the rest of that stuff too but um, they're these, and I thought these would be really, really cute um, for events. And they're actually metal signs and they're heavy too. So I have the Cheers one. They only came in four different ones. The bar one, um, which is really nice. The wine one, which is really what I wanted. The wine bar and then beer. Now I did find beer in all of the other targets that I went to. Um, and here are my things that I bought um, so I can return the other beer but I thought these would be cute to set out you know any type of events I've had always having baby showers and bridal showers and birthday parties and stuff like that so that was part of the wine theme and let's see what else I got um not wine theme the bar theme I got some other stuff too so I got this bottle opener all this stuff was three dollars each and it just says let's drink I got this mutter, which is like when you make mojitos and stuff. Um, I got, I went to a million different targets last weekend looking for this stuff. I got a double shot glass. So it's a single shot on one side and a double shot on the other. So I thought the gold was really pretty. And then this is a, I forgot what you call this. What is this called? A zester. Um, and then I purchased, this was the other beer sign that I purchased, but I can send this back, actually, I already have one now. And then I got a pair of the tongs, these were all $3, again, and I got a strainer, and I got some bar spoons as well, some gold, it came two in a pack. And that's it. So those are the things that I got. And I think they're really, really pretty. I will take back this beer sign, definitely. And the rest of the stuff is so pretty. So I'll use it for another event. But that's all I needed to show you guys. I think I showed you guys Ace's stuff already. So, yeah. Um, did I show you guys my My Favorite Things gift? Because that's coming up. Hold on, let me turn this light. Um, I got these uh, Urban Decay 
born to run eyeshadow palettes for everybody these are 50 dollars, but they macy's had a flash sale where they were 25 and that's our gift limit this year so i got three of these for the ladies and then i ordered one for myself um and urban decay is a really good makeup brand so i hope they'll like it this year i think we're only doing the four of us anyway so it's just like i bought everybody gets each other's gifts this year because we're not inviting um extra people this year so yeah i will talk to you guys later i'm gonna go lay down for a bit hey guys i'm chilling in my basement i told you guys we cleaned it out i hung my curtains over the um sliding glass doors and over this window i do have a space heater in here because it's really cold and drafty this is the rug so all this stuff came from the family room at my old house i am going to get a tv mount this weekend and mount the tv above the fireplace and then i have to clean out um the stuff off that couch over there and i think i'm going to get a um tufted ottoman bench that lifts up for storage and i'll put like the kids toys and stuff in there that rug goes upstairs and then that box is just the mirrored frames from my gallery wall that I'm going to rebuild here and rebuild one behind that couch too. And then I have two right here. I have two of the like window pane mirrors that I'm going to put side by side here and I may put like a table or something right under it like a um, console table or something like that up against the wall. But I'm not sure. I'm thinking about moving my dog down here too but I'm not sure. But the room, um, the heater is like definitely clutch down here. But this is my basement room. You can see it's finally got it cleaned out. And I moved my old couches down here. Good morning, guys. Happy what day is it? Saturday. It is December the 14th. It's 8.53. And I am headed to work for a few hours. Um... guys i went to check the at-home store last night for that mirror for my client i was unsuccessful they didn't have it i'm getting really frustrated with the at-home store because their inventory online says they have it have things and then you drive all the way to the store and they don't have it they don't have the capability to check other stores they don't have the capability to allow you to order online very frustrating um but whatever so then i went out for pho for dinner afterwards you guys know i love pho it a lot so that was good i came home i worked on a special project for about 20 minutes and then your girl was so tired i had changed my clothes and went to bed and yeah so um today's agenda is to make it to work which i'm half the battle is is it's fought because i'm driving there now i'm having a cheese for breakfast um and then after work i have to go to the bank and I also have to drop off some money to my mom for um, their vow renewal things. Some stuff that she needs to get for that. I got an update last night that my dress shipped. And we bought the dresses from a website called JJ's House, which is based in China. So it says it should be here by Wednesday. And it just shipped, like, today, China time, early. I don't know what time it is in China, but it shipped on the 14th of December. So that's pretty cool. Um, that'll be here. I do need to order my earrings today. So I'll order those when I get to work. Ordering those from David's Bridal. They are kind of expensive. They're like, with shipping, it's like $35. But whatever. Um, and I already have my shoes. So that'll be good. Um, I shipped my dress to my parents' house. So maybe Wednesday night, I'll just go over there and try it on. Hopefully everything is good. Um, and what else? Also today, um, my friend Ebony's son is having a birthday party at Bowling Alley, at Bowling Alley. So I may swing past there. That's at five. I think I'm gonna leave work around like two thirty ish. Um, I'll probably do like five hours. Um, and yeah, I'll swing, maybe swing past there at five. I also want to finish my tree today, like seriously, and um, get like the middle level of my house done. I showed you guys in the last clip that I got a lot of my basement done and that's now usable space which is great and what I did was I just moved the things that I was keeping that were down there in the boxes a lot of party planning stuff I moved it to my garage because I have been parking outside of my garage now even though that's not my preference but I am going to get a storage unit until then it's going to stay in my garage but once I get the storage unit then I will put that stuff in storage and I can use my garage for 
the parking space again. Um, but I needed the space. Um, I didn't want people to chill in my formal living room upstairs with my new couch and all that other stuff. So yeah, um, I'm really happy that I got that space taken care of. It looks really good. I need to get a TV mount to mount the TV hopefully sometime this weekend. Um, and what else today? That's about it. So the middle level, I'm going to climb up to, uh, not climb up, but move up to the middle level, finish my tree because that's important. I, I can't really clean the middle level with all of my Christmas bins everywhere. So I need to finish decorating my tree so I can put my bins up so that I can, um, <laughs> you know, finish going through that level of the house or whatever. And then eventually I'll tackle the bedrooms. Um, so yeah. I'm going to try to upload a video for you guys. It's super fast with my new internet. I think I told you guys that. So, I don't have to strategically do it at my parents' house anymore. I also need to drop off the old Comcast equipment sometime today. But the good news is, we cannot work tomorrow because they're doing a system upgrade. So I definitely have all tomorrow. And the only thing I have on my agenda tomorrow is to get waxed um, and do some stuff in the house. So hopefully I can see my nieces and my nephew today and check that off the list because I like to see them at least once a week. They're doing new things and growing and all that stuff. So I like to visit them on the weekends. Um, I think my brother and sister-in-law are moving today. I think. Um, but I don't know. We'll see.
deal at Home Goods. But other than that, like, I already had everything. The TV, I did purchase a new TV last year for Cyber Monday, but I paid $199 for it. And I literally just took it out of the box a couple months ago. Um, and I need to get a mount for it. But other than that, like, everything else I already had. So, and I, like I said, I don't want to over-decorate the space and put a lot of, um, like, or put weird stuff or glass stuff because this is like going to be basically the equivalent of my family room or my basement room where when people with kids come over that's where we chill now when my girlfriends come over if we want to have girl talk or whatever we can go upstairs in a formal living room and chill there or whatever if we want to be near the kitchen and stuff because we're adults and we know how to sit down on furniture and not spill stuff or whatever but for the most part we'll probably chill down there too because it's like the chill spot so i'm really excited to have that area now um and I was just so overwhelmed coming home and seeing all that stuff. Like, I had so much stuff in that room. It was just ridiculous. So we were able to clean it all out, swept the floor, mopped the floor, put down the um, area rug, and shampooed it. It looks good. Put the feet back on the couch, put that together. So now I need to add the um, accent pillows that match the curtains, which are kind of faded. Um, but Kohl's, they still sell the curtains, but they don't sell the accent pillows anymore. So I need to, it is what it is. Like, it's fine. I'm just going to put them on the um, corners of the couch. And then, like I said, I need to just swap out the pictures for my mirrored frames. Um, and I do have some of the new holiday pictures that my family and I took. And then I found a picture of my grandmother and my grandfather. So I want to put those in frames as well. Um, and put them on the wall somewhere down there I don't know where and like I said get a TV mount which I'll probably get a TV mount today I don't know if I'm gonna mount it this weekend maybe but um that'll be good too and then that room will be good um I also put a heater in there because like I said that room is kind of cold it's drafty because it's in the basement and my, my house was built in the 80s so the circulation of heat and air is just not that great on the bottom level so I put a heater in there and that is um, working good I well, the first one um, I tried was too small I got it from Target but then I remembered that um, I already had one so I used that one it's more powerful and that one is good um, so that's good um, I'm thinking about moving lady down there and yeah so I'm just excited to go level by level in my house and like get it together get it organized I did buy another bin plastic bin a couple months ago and it's still empty I bought that to put all of my like outdoor entertaining and my grilling stuff in um, and then I will put that in the garage as well I moved all of my charcoal out there like I'm just I, I don't have that much storage in my house so I have to use my garage right now until I purchase a storage unit which I'm in no rush to do but I've been parking outside for the last couple of months anyway because when I went and got the um, dresser and the couch from Craigslist. I had that stuff sitting in my garage until my brother was able to come bring it upstairs. So yeah, I was used to parking outside anyway. So yeah, just been using my garage and that's what it is. Um, so yeah, anywho, I'm gonna try to work and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey y'all. Dropped off what I needed to drop off to my mom. I want to throw them deer out. Um, and I played with Mimi for a while. She did not want me to leave. And I was two seconds away from taking her with me. But I don't want to have to bring her back. I'm kind of tired already. And I just want to drop this off at the birthday party and go. Well, not go. Drop it off. But stay for a little bit. It starts at 5. It's 4.50 now. So I'll be there a little bit late, but I'm not bringing any kids that are gonna bowl, so it'll be fine. I picked up, I went in Ross when I got off. I was actually looking for something and I didn't find it, but I finished my Christmas shopping for the kids. I got Mia a, um, food, a big food play set for her kitchen, and I got her a pot and pan set for her kitchen from there. And then I got um, my nephew Ace and my youngest niece, Brooklyn, some VTech and like, sensory toys and stuff like that from there they had quite a bit um maybe in between like six and ten six and twelve dollars so i got them a few of those i think i got ace two things and brooklyn two or three toys and what else did i get and then i
then I got this uh, laser, sharper image laser tag set for my uh, girlfriend's son's birthday. So I'm about to go drop it off now. And yeah, so that is it. Me and Mimi were bonding. I fed her some applesauce. And then she wanted my Diet Pepsi. She drank a lot of it actually. Water on my seat. So 
so annoying. So, all right, y'all. I will talk to you guys later. Happy Sunday, guys. It is the 15th. It's um, 12 noon. I just left the wax place. It's been a while, so this wasn't my worst wax by any means, but y'all. And then I got my underarms wax for the first time this time. It was pretty cool. It didn't hurt at all. I wouldn't say it hurt at all. But yeah, bikini wax, got that done. Got my underarms wax. I think I'm gonna keep getting my underarms waxed. Anywho, I was gonna stop at TJ Maxx, but I'm gonna go home um, and finish trying to straighten up and stuff. Maybe do a little bit of my tree, we'll see. Yesterday, I went to uh, my girlfriend's son's birthday party, which was cool. And then I picked up some dinner, came home, I barely even ate the dinner, and I went to bed. That's how that worked. <laughs> um, I was tired. So, I need some gas actually. I'm gonna try to go home and do a little bit more straightening up. my Christmas tree so I can put those deck the bins back downstairs in the basement I also need to get a TV mount for my TV in the basement Ooh, it's busy out here I'm gonna try to upload a vlog too that's what I'm gonna try to do anywho that's all I want to tell you guys Actually got my wax the wax is done all is well and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Good morning guys. Happy Wednesday. It is December 18th. It is about 10:50 in the morning and I am sitting out beside of Harper's potential new school because I'm meeting Harper and Stacy here for a family interview. She's switching her school. She asked me to come along with her um, just to check things out and yeah, so I'm here. Um, I'm a little early because the interview's not until 11.30, but I wasn't sure what the traffic scene was going to be like. So, yeah. I uploaded a video for you guys. It was Thanksgiving and our holiday family photo shoot. And I've been looking at you guys' comments on it. So thanks so much for your support on that. Um, I'm going to go to work after this. And then I'll be back here probably tomorrow night because... Um, Brittany's son and her niece also go to the school and they are in the Christmas program together tomorrow evening so I'm gonna try to make it to that as well um, yeah that's about it guys I'm tired it was good to just be able to lay this morning and rest uh, extra time because um, usually uh, I try to get to work um, at a decent time in the morning so I have to get up but today I got to lay around and rest because I knew I didn't have to be here until 11.30. I'm still 30 minutes early, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to come on here and tell you guys. I was talking to my mom this morning, laying in bed, and um, we were talking about Christmas. So I need to uh, wash, not wash, I need to go to the store this weekend and get all of the cheeses I need for the mac and cheese. And then she does want us to fry a turkey. So someone else is responsible for bringing the turkey, but she wants um, me to fry it. So I need to bring my fryer over and I may make some deviled eggs. Um, one of my coworkers texted me last night and said that Trump um, gave the clothes the government on Christmas Eve. And because I'm a contractor, that means that the government's closed, we can't work, but we don't get paid for it. So you have to use leave or you have to make up the time, which making up the time is gonna be hard because I was already gonna be off on Thursday and Friday. And we get paid for Wednesday, that's the holiday. Tuesday's closed, that only leaves Monday that week. And obviously you can't make up that much time in one day. So, oh well, they haven't made an announcement at work yet because I think he just did it yesterday evening. So we shall see when I get to work what the verdict is, but I already know like, it's gonna be closed and you gotta make up the time um, sometimes they'll let you make it up in the same pay period though so if they do that that's not that bad but needless to say I'll have six days off consecutively so 
um, that means I could probably, that's an extra day for me to film of what I got everybody for Christmas and also start wrapping. And yeah. Um, I know they're supposed to be having like an elf on the shelf party at my brother's house this weekend for the kids, but um, this weekend is my favorite things with my girlfriends on Saturday night. So I'm not gonna go to the elf on the shelf party because I'm going to my favorite things. So that'll be fun. Um, let's see, I have everything for that. I think Stacy's gonna get some food catered because she's hosting this year. This year we decided to do it at a hotel and Brittany reserved the hotel. So we sent her the money for that. And then we just have to think about decor now, like the themed we're gonna go with. She sent a, a text message, but nobody has really chimed in yet. So I don't know um, what the theme will be, but I did get a new tripod. So I'll try to record as much as possible for you guys. Um, what else? I think that's it, y'all. I'm gonna take these braids out um, next week too. And then I don't know what I'm gonna get for my family vacation trip in a couple weeks, but I'll figure it out. Anyway, I am going to catch up on some YouTube until Stacey and Harper get here, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday.